With the dais, you've got several tone options. Tones are normally personal preference, but if you're comfortable using a tone, you will find more targets. We're going to start off with the factory preset tones and just let you hear what three targets sound like. Then we're going to adjust the tones and brighten them up a little bit and see what you think. We've got a nail, a small UK hammered coin, and a large UK hammered coin. So let's run the coin across these three targets and let you hear the three factory preset tones. Iron. That's the mid tone. That's a high tone. Once again, iron. That's a buzz. Mid tone. High tone. Now, what I want to do, I want to adjust the high tone. I'd like to hear something a little bit more lifted. So we're going to keep the, the middle tone the same and adjust the high tone. And this is how to do it. Go into discrimination, expert tones. And you'll see three tones. Expert again. And there you've got the tone levels listed. So your iron is 202, your mid tone's 518, and your high tone is 644. I'd like to adjust the high tone to 710. So, by scrolling down to the necessary number, plus button, and I'm just gonna raise it up to 710. Listen to the difference now. Low tone, it's unchanged. Mid tone, unchanged. High tone, it's much more prominent and I quite like using that in the field. It works on a sliding scale. Iron is a low conductor, it gives a low tone. Coins are slightly higher, it gives a higher tone. So it's all on a sliding scale. Some big silver will give the highest tone. So you're just listening for a lifted signal in amongst the iron. It really is quite an intense feature, especially if you're using zero discrimination, but you're getting an audio map of what's going on under the ground. In factory presets using full tone, you're not gonna hear the iron. The mid tone, the high tone. Now, if we wanna hear the iron, all we do is just drop the discrimination down to sort of one or two. For this demonstration, I'll go to one. Iron. Mid tone. High tone. So you're getting a lot of information there off the targets. When you're searching in the field, you'll be hearing a lot of the low tone, but you'll be able to pick up the high spikes from the good non-ferrous targets. In full tones, the audio response, silencer, reactivity, they're all playing the same part as in other tones. So make your adjustments accordingly. The iron volume is not in play, so you can drop that down to zero. Loads of iron there. But there's a little nugget in the middle of it. A nice, clear, repeatable tone. Another piece of lead, but a lovely sound. It 
It's a lovely one. Sounds very clean. It's a bronze ring. Finger ring. We're really hearing the iron now, it's really coming through. I'm having a conversation with the machine. Now, if I didn't want to hear the iron, it's really simple. All I do is go into the menu, iron volume. I've got it at five at the moment, just for filming purposes. But if I dropped it down to zero, this would eliminate the iron buzz, so I'd be in a silent search. Let's have a go with iron volume at zero. All I'm gonna hear is the positive targets now. But what I'm not hearing is information. If I was on a new site, I wouldn't be getting the information about what areas contain iron and iron means ancient habitation so it's another form of information okay if you like a silent search i can appreciate that whatever you're happy with but if you want to get professional with the dais you've got to use everything available and listening to the iron tone is another form of information it tells you where the iron is if you find an iron patch in a field you can spend all day working it because that's where the finds are most likely going to be.